How you guys doing? Good? All right, yeah. Uh, thanks for clapping. Uh, uh, that's why I do stand-up. Uh, wanted a job where people clap when I come to work. Uh, it's not like I was uh, getting picked up by the Lakers, so stand-up was the only place people were going to clap for me. It's the best part. It's awesome. You come to work, people are like, he's here. And there's the worst part right after that, where you stare at me like, you better get funny quick, fucker. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Uh, and I gotta get to work right away. Like, I'm here, and I gotta go straight to, I'm not allowed to ease into it. I can't get a coffee, check my email. I gotta go. Look, look, you're looking at me like, fucking go. You greedy motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's uncomfortable. Um, I, uh, oh, here comes a camera. Uh, he's setting up for it, I'm setting up for my motion. Uh, let's get into the Me Too movement right away. Um, I think it's amazing. I think women uh, have been sexually harassed and sexually assaulted for years, and it's about time. They had a movement, I don't know if they've done such a good job with the branding of the movement, because hashtag me too is not such a great idea because the hashtag sign used to be called the pound sign. <laughs> so pound me too is not <laughs> the right message, ladies, especially when you're putting it under a picture of yourself in a bikini on your Instagram page. Uh, that <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, think, I think the bad thing about the Me Too movement, it's not inclusive. I think it needs to include men too, because men can be sexually harassed. I've been, in, I've been working in this show business for like 20 some years, and I have been sexually harassed by women in power. I have, I have, and, and you know what I did? I fucked them. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, when I, when I got into the business, uh, when I came here, my best friend said, would you fuck your way to the top? And I was like, I'd fuck my way to the bottom. <laughs> Isn't that the goal of show business? <laughs> um, I'm not getting laid anymore because I'm married. And uh, that's cliche, but it's true. Uh, yeah, I've been married for a long time. I've been married for five years. And I had my anniversary this week, and it just, it kind of is weird to me that I have only been in one vagina in the last three years. And, uh, I don't cheat on my wife, not because I don't want to. Uh, it's natural to want to have sex with other women because monogamy is not natural. Monogamy is not fun. It's not natural or fun to have sex with the same person for the rest of your life. That's, that's like fishing in a pond with one fish. You're like, oh, 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 look what I caught. It's, it's you again. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, gotcha again, yay! After three days of that, you're putting a schoolgirl dress on the fish, putting a ball gag in its gill, throwing it back in. Uh, I don't cheat on my wife, though, because I asked her. I said, hypothetically, if I cheated on you, would you leave me? And she said, no. I was like, really? You wouldn't leave me? She goes, nope. I go, you love me that much? She goes, not at all. <laughs> go, but you wouldn't leave me? She goes, no, I'd slit your throat while you're sleeping. <laughs> while I'm sleeping. That's not funny at all. I live with this woman. I sleep in the same bed with her. I don't even kiss her goodnight anymore. I don't. I, I get in bed with her every night. I look her right in the eyes. I'm like, we're good, right? I, I sleep with a catcher's mask and a throat protector because I don't know if she has my Facebook password. Uh, we have a we have a we have a kid. Uh, we made a baby with my dick. Uh, 
I don't know if you know, that's how you do it. Uh, it's true, you use your dick, you make a baby. Don't ever say that in the park. Uh, I was in the park one day and some kid goes, which one's yours? And I'm like, I made that one with my dick. Uh, I thought it was funny. Um, that's weird. Um, yeah, my wife wanted, we, we both wanted the baby. We tried to make it, which is weird. My whole life I was trying not to make a baby. <laughs> And then my wife gave me the go-ahead, and my dick was like, don't trust her. <laughs> like, I, it was so trained in pulling out, it would pull it on its, on its own. It was like, I'm an outside cat, not an inside cat. <laughs> my wife wanted to get pregnant so badly, she had an app on her phone that would say when she was fertile. Yeah, an alarm would go off telling us, telling us we had to have sex. Like, technology ruined my favorite thing in the whole world. Like, I used to love to fuck until I had to. Once I had to, like, you know what it's called when you have to fuck. It's rape. <laughs> my, my wife had a rape app on her phone. I don't think that's what it's called in the app store. But essentially, that's what it is, because the alarm would go off and it was set to the most ominous sound on the iPhone, the foghorn ringtone. I swear to God, I'd be hiding. I wasn't hiding in the house. I'd be like in the house somewhere. I didn't even know if she was home. She didn't know if I was home. And all of a sudden I'd hear, wah, wah. and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'd try to sneak out of the house. I'm like, maybe she doesn't know I'm here. And I, I'd hear her from the bedroom, get in here. And then she just sucked the jizz right out of me. <laughs> and we made a little girl. It's, it's funny when you have a girl, all your guy friends will ask you the same question. They'll all be like, hey, did you want a girl? What kind of question is that? Of course I didn't want a girl. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want a girl. Uh, <laughs> but I got one and I'm happy I have a girl now. Uh, but it, it, most men want a boy and most women want a girl and it's just simple psychology and that's why we have to stop these gender reveal parties you know these parties where you invite your friends and family members over and you don't know the sex of the child until there's a surprise that's a bad idea because there's a winner and there's a loser <laughs> and if you lose you have to act graciously like like congratulations it's a girl and you're like oh yeah <laughs> like being on a game show and you just lost a million dollars and they're like, no, you just gotta be happy and wave and walk off stage and you wanna fucking break everything. Be like, fuck this fucking place. <laughs> That's how it is. And they show these gender reveal parties on Facebook and the guy's always like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I just went for once the guy to go, fuck! We had a, we had a cake. And uh, they baked a cake, and inside the icing is pink or blue. And that you cut in and you find out. And, and uh, if it's pink, it's a girl. If it's blue, it's a boy. And my wife's whole family was hoping it was pink. And I was hoping it was chocolate. <laughs> and I could leave. I'm gonna leave on that right there. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great night. You've been uh, incredible until that last joke. How did I lose him on the last one?